Does the two finger rule really work for sunscreen? Specifically, this 92 year old woman used sunscreen on her face, but on her neck for 40 years. You can see what happened. And this guy, he worked outside for 70 years and he never left the house with sunscreen, but he always wore pants. And as you can see, there's a huge difference in what the skin looks like when it is and isn't protected from the sun. But how much sunscreen should we be freaking using? Cause it can be confusing. Oh, I am a rhyming lyrical genius. Aha. The recommended amount of sunscreen is two milligrams per centimeter square of skin, but what the f you expect me to get out here with a tape measure on my face? Some people also say that it's about a shot glass of sunscreen for the entire body, but that could be really hard to measure. A lot of us don't have one of these hanging around, and yes, this is a sunscreen spoon that I'm going to show you how to use. But most importantly, something I talk about all the time is the two finger rule. And in a video recently, I was trying out this product. This is the Ah Sun Airy Fit Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen, and my two finger rule kind of turned into a three finger rule because of how runny this was. And some people in the comments were asking, is it two fingers? Is it three fingers? What the heck is going on? And do I need to reapply this throughout the day? So let's talk about it. The two finger rule is just that, taking basically two finger stripes, woo, that is goopy, two finger stripes of sunscreen that should be enough to cover the two square centimeters of the face, basically helping you stay protected when you go out during the day. But is this actually enough? Well, I'm gonna take my little sunscreen spoon here and we're gonna give it a try. Pretty good. Let's see about the second one. Ooh, it's actually coming in a little bit shy. It's, you know what, it's pretty good, but it's coming in a little bit shy. Now, this is a runnier formula, which is why in that video, I just kind of gauged it with my eyeball. And I was like, let's do three fingers. So let me actually see if I do a third finger, if that gets us to the correct amount. Boom, shuckalucka, that just about does it. As you can see, the three finger rule should be enough for the face, as well as a little bit of the ears and the neck. Now, when people are applying their sunscreen, they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is so goopy. Well, how goopy your sunscreen screen is really depends on how you apply it and what kind of formula it is. And just as we showed, you might need the two finger rule or the three finger rule, depending on which sunscreen you're using. So let's talk about it. Something else that I actually learned from the comments was not to apply the sunscreen all at once. I did, and it was like super pasty as it is. And then I just rub it in for 10 minutes. But someone in the comments said that her dermatologist recommended that she apply a little at a time and actually apply the full amount in layers. What a genius idea as a way that it doesn't flash back. It doesn't get goopy on the skin and it actually absorbs layer by layer. Let me just rub this in for you here, babes. Now, as you probably know, because you are a skin intellectual and you've tried different sunscreens, different sunscreens have different formulations. This one specifically calls itself a sunscreen plus moisturizer from Jumiso. And most sunscreens basically are moisturizers with SPF protection. So you really don't need to wear a moisturizer underneath your sunscreen unless you're trying to do something like add a mattifying moisturizer or add a super hydrating moisturizer or get a certain benefit from that step in your routine. But just the way we had to add a little bit more of this because it was so liquidy. Any other really liquidy products, we might need to add more of. Whereas a thicker sunscreen, you might need less. Let me show you exactly how this works. This is one of my favorites from Dr. Sam. This is the Dr. Sam Bunting Daily Sunscreen. And do you see how thick that is? Right here, the two finger rule is going to be more than enough. I should have brought a napkin, but I didn't. Let's just look, 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 look. I swear my carpet and oh no, now my dress and the table is going to be the most sun protected table in the entire freaking universe. Look at that. That's actually more than our recommended sunscreen spoon amount. Hang on. Oh no, it's all over my pants, my dress. Let me rub it into my leg. <laughs> oh, please. We don't waste around here. Now let's compare this Dr. Sam's to two sunscreens that are a little bit more liquidy. I love the Make Prem. This is from Korea, but this is super lightweight, which means we might need a little bit more. And then this one from Isden is fantastic. It's tinted and it's actually mineral, but just because it's mineral doesn't mean it's going to be more pasty. A lot of people assume that, but sometimes mineral formulas can be super lightweight. Do you see how runny that is? Oh my gosh, it's literally running down my entire hand. This one, I might need three, if not four. Let me even just see if the three finger rule cuts it with this. You know what? It is going down my hand. It is going down the back of my hand. Yeah, this is not even habada babada. Shibidi babada. This is tough, right? Okay, there you go. It's not even half. This one's like a six finger rule. <laughs> Am I gonna spill that? I did just spill that all over my desk. Love it. This is a great use for your makeup wipes, kids. Oh no, it's getting on my microphone. What is this chaos? Stop it. You said stop it. I'm talking to the sunscreen as if it's gonna stop running down my microphone. Can you still hear me properly? Hello. I love you, Helen. I'm not even fully caffeinated today. What is my life? 
you got gigging on? <laughs> Let's take a look at our make prim for some giggles. As you can see, super, super liquidy. This one, we're going to need three finger rule. If you're really looking for bang for your buck, this one is so good, by the way. You get a lot of sunscreen for little money. And when we scoop it into our sunscreen spoon, ooh, I could even use a little bit more than the three finger rule for this one. Let's try a fourth finger. Yeah, fourth finger cuts it. And that's the other thing is that depending on the size of your hand and the thickness of the sunscreen, you might want to use a little bit more or a little bit less. Now, when we're talking about all of this, you're probably thinking, Cassandra, this is exhausting. You want me to get out a spoon? Then you want me to put this on my face in layers and reapply it throughout the day? Babe, listen, I'm going to tell you something that's an unpopular opinion. The truth is that yes, you should be using enough sunscreen, reapplying it throughout the day and keeping yourself protected. But let me just, let me just get you real close here and say something. If you have a sunscreen in your routine, you're already doing a great job. You are doing way better than most. If you're wearing a hat, if you're enjoying the sun responsibly, you're doing great. It's not about being perfect. It's not about getting the exact right amount of sunscreen and reapplying it every two hours on the hour. It's about making sure that you are protecting your skin and doing your best while still being able to enjoy life and live it reasonably. And that's why I really do love the two finger rule. Even if it can be a little bit off sometime, just try to compensate. For thicker sunscreens, use two fingers. For a thinner one, use three. Or if you have this Isden one, um, use six. <laughs> the amount is never going to be perfect, but even the smallest bit of sunscreen can help prevent a lot of damage that many people have faced. And no matter what, aging is a privilege. There's no way to completely stop aging, nor should we want to. Aging is proof that we've loved and we've lived. It's a sign of wisdom. And in other cultures, the older you look and the older you are, the more revered you are. You're more like a sage, right? Why can't we have that view over here in the societal expectations of the Western world, I do ask? But if you remember that the goal is not to just stop and prevent all signs of aging, it's about enjoying the sun in a happy, healthy way. It's about preventing skin cancer. It's about looking and feeling our best, which often means using things that actually work with our routine instead of against it. I think that's what's most important. So to answer some of these questions that did come up in my comment section, yeah, the two finger rule, the three finger rule, it's a good rule of thumb. Haha, <laughs> it is actually technically a rule of thumb because a thumb is a finger. So try your best, even if it's not perfect. And again, this doesn't work for everything. There are some stick sunscreens that like you can't do the two finger rule on because it's literally a stick sunscreen. But unless you have like one of those UV cameras that shows you where you applied the sunscreen, it's kind of hard to get it perfect. And even I don't have one of those UV cameras. I've been looking for one, but they're also low quality. If anyone knows of a really high quality UV camera to see how good the sunscreen application is, and we can test a sunscreen throughout the day or test waterproof sunscreens to see if they're actually waterproof and sweat proof, please send me a link in my Instagram DM so that I can try that out. But if you do have a sunscreen in your routine and you want to do your best with the least amount of stress, try the two or three finger rule or heck, if you really want to go the extra mile, go ahead and get yourself a sunscreen spoon. Always remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically. Reapply that SPF. But again, if you reapplied it once in the morning, you're doing a great job, babe. Do not discount the hard work you've already done. And always remember to be beautiful, both inside and out. I love you. And I can't wait to see you in this next video where we talk about some of the best sunscreens that money can buy at the least expensive prices. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.